This is the way your coat should look after having attached the under collar. It's been pinned and then stitched along that line. Uh, in an earlier step I showed you a chalk line. Just placed it along it and stitched it very close to the edge from this dot all the way across the back of it and then over to the dot that's on the other side. After putting one line of very fine stitching there, I go back and put a line of zigzag stitching on that edge just to keep that under collar edge from raveling. I follow up with a, another line of zigzag stitching right here and the purpose of it is to hold this inside edge to keep it from folding down or um, getting jumbled up underneath there and making a bulge or from raveling. And you'll notice that with this line of stitching I stop about one inch short of the front edge of this under collar. The purpose for that is in a later step this will actually fold down and if you've got this stitched all the way to that edge it won't fold. So in a later step I'll go inside here and I'll clip down to that stitching and it'll make it easier to fold. So again this is the way your under collar should look attached to the coat shell and our next step is to move on to the sleeves.